Welcome to the Opus OP Light Setup video, where we'll show you the simple process from beginning to end. This video features one person doing the setup of the camper. However, having an assistant makes for easier setup. So remember, when using an assistant, be mindful of where they are during any procedure, so as not to cause accidental injury. Before unhitching your camper from your vehicle, ensure you firmly apply the handbrake. We recommend placing wheel chocks in front of and behind at least one wheel of the camper. However, in some cases, you may only choose to use one wheel chock, depending on the slope of the ground. Before unhitching your camper, if you notice the camper is on uneven ground and sitting lower on one side, consider using a wheel ramp to raise up that side of the camper until it is level. Keep in mind, you can use the jockey wheel to level the camper front to rear once it is unhitched from your vehicle. It should now be safe to unhitch your camper. To open your OP light, move around the camper and ensure you remove all pins from the latches of the OP light's roof cage and lid. Hold on to the two brass roof cage locking pins. You'll need these in a moment. Next step, release the two roof cage latches and push the roof cage upward. The gas struts will assist in taking most of the weight. The roof cage is the perfect way to carry lighter items. Before raising the roof cage, ensure these items are removed. Secure the roof cage in the vertical position with the brass locking pins you removed earlier. While on this side, release the three lid latches. Then move to the opposite side of your OP light and do the same. Once all latches have been released, you'll notice the lid starting to lift. Fold the lid over. The bed lid is gas strut assisted for easy opening and closing, but always ensure you support the lid when it's folding in either direction. Secure the lid with the center locking latch. Now you're almost ready to inflate your OP light. To do so, ensure you close all four valves located on the main tent. Ensure they are sealed tight to stop any air leakage. For those wanting to use the annex, now is the time to attach it. Please refer to our video on attaching the annex to your camper for further information. Move to the control panel, press the main power button, the pump power button, and then the air pump start button. You'll hear the compressor motor start. This will indicate that your inflation is underway. While you wait for the tent to inflate, move around your camper and extend all four leg stabilizers with the winder handle. Ensure they're in firm contact with the ground. To speed up the process of lowering and raising the stabilizing legs, try using a cordless drill with the correct attachment. Please note, these leg stabilizers are not to be used as jacks. The tent may need assistance to take shape. Inspect inside the camper to ensure all air beams are correctly positioned. The pump will automatically shut off once your OP light has reached its required inflation pressure. The next step is assisting your OP light in taking shape. Grab the straps at the rear and secure with pegs to ensure the canvas maintains stability. Opus campers come equipped with hammer pegs. However, when camping on firm ground, screw-in or threaded pegs are a great option. Move around your OP light. Pull the tent canvas over the corners and hook the elastic straps to the camper. Head to the rear and pull the canvas over the rear corners. Then secure with straps 
by hooking them to the anchor points located underneath the OP light. Once the tent is fully fastened down, open up the camper door and fold out the steps. Make your way inside the OP light. Remember to close the shutoff valve at the base of the rear left air beam, as this will ensure your tent remains inflated for your entire camping trip. The internal travel layout of your OP light will look like this. The base of the couch will remain in position and the back cushions are located on top of the base cushions and on the folding table. Start with the cushions on top. Move the two longer cushions to either side, then place the two shorter back cushions at the rear of the seating area. Now set up the longer back cushions and add the cushions on the table to either side. If using the folding table, unfold and extend the legs. Otherwise, remove the folding table to enable more space. Lastly, use the press studs to clip the canvas door neatly to the camper. Congratulations! Your OP-like camper is now ready to use and enjoy.